This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Welcome to Best Beds for Pets. I'm your show host, Michelle Fern. You know, taking care of our dog's teeth is a challenge. And there's a lot of things on the market, you know, that say they do this and that. But my guest today has created not one, but two wonderful products for your dog's teeth and gums and breath and all sorts of great things. And we have him on today. He has a brand new product out. We'll be right back after this message. Take a bite out of your competition. Advertise your business with an ad in Pet Life Radio podcasts and radio shows. There is no other pet-related media that is as large and reaches more pet parents and pet lovers than Pet Life Radio. With over 7 million monthly listeners, Pet Life Radio podcasts are available on all major podcast platforms. And our live radio stream goes out to over 250 million subscribers on iHeartRadio, Odyssey, TuneIn, and other streaming apps. For more information on how you can advertise on the number one pet podcast and radio network, visit PetLifeRadio.com slash advertise today. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. I'd like to welcome Dr. Joe Greatly, he is the creator. Well, you created Greenies in way back in 96. That's correct. Everybody knows about Greenies if you have a dog, you know, shaped yes. like a toothbrush and all that. Now you have a new product called Yummy Combs. Yes. And basically much of what is in Yummy Combs conceptually is things that I learned while we had Greenies, but we never got them incorporated into the product. And so after our five-year non-compete, when we sold Greenies, I started thinking about pets again. And I am a avid, avid, avid dog lover, have always been. And so I was thinking about what can we do to better the lives of dogs? That's kind of always my proposition going in. So that was where we started. Okay. It's a great package. You can see the product. You came out with something. It's in the shape of a honeycomb and it has smaller sections inside. This is a lot different than the shape of greenies. Grossly different, but far, far, far more functional. We currently have eight patents on this one product, plus two more pending here in the States and also have patents pending in oh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, UK, EU, China, Japan, uh, I mean, Canada. So yes, the functionality of this, some people look at it and say, well, it's just a gimmick look. No, 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 no. It's highly, highly functional. This product can actually floss 360 degrees around the dog's teeth, upper jaw and lower jaw simultaneously. 360 degrees, that's all the way around and down to the gum line. And it also has up to, because we have five different sizes, up to 256 scrubbing surfaces to clean the teeth of tartar. And why is tartar important? Dr. Joe, we'll get to that in a second. But let's talk about this. There's a lot of different things that Yummy Combs does. But when I was reading about it, it says that compared to everything on the market, it has 60 benefits. Now, yes. I know very little anything that I could think of that I give my dog or my cats that have 60 benefits in one single product. So I don't expect all 60, but what, what are some of the key benefits that will make pet parents that listening out there go, wow, that's amazing? Well, first, to me, a prerequisite for a pet tree is that it tastes great, that dogs love it and go after it. Because when we started Greenies, we had a couple of dogs that had terrible breath. And my wife, who's been my entrepreneurial partner now for over 25 years, was going to stores and clinics trying to find something to clean up the dog's breath. And she couldn't. And most of them, the dogs didn't like. And if the dogs aren't going to chew on it and consume it, they aren't going to get the benefits. So 
Taste great is right there at the top of it. This is a very novel, innovative shape that we have that really, really functions in many different ways. And we have 12 wellness ingredients in them, things like joint health and immune health and cognitive function and on and on there. Uh, we also have done something very different than most of the treats on the market today. You can't just look at a package and find this because starch is not required to be labeled on a package, but I think it's very, very important. Protein is. We have basically reversed the ratio of starch and protein in this product. We have 47% protein and less than 7% starch. The average for other treats that I've looked at was 40% percent starch and less than 14 percent protein now if you think about it all your friends and family those who are trying to lose weight are they on protein or are they on starch well they're all on protein diets not starch diets so 60 percent of dogs today are overweight if they're over two years old so we're trying to tackle that problem with that it's designed to dissolve very quickly in fact we've tested it and it dissolves 12 times faster than the average of 15 treats we tested against. Why is that important? Oh, that's so important in terms of choking, gulping hazards along the way and blockages. When a dog tries to just gulp something down and gets it stuck, if it will dissolve fast, then you've got a good chance. Otherwise, you're in the surgery and big trauma situation. So dissolving time is very, very important in that. And we actually have this tree shape. You talked about the shape. Let me just explain that a little further and see if I can make sense out of it for everybody. If you could think of a hockey puck, and now you change that hockey puck to that flat, wide, circular shape to a hexagonal shape, but it's still kind of flat. So Yummy cones are flat and wide so that the dog absolutely has to chew them before they can try to gulp it down. And that's so important. There's about 200,000 choking incidents with dogs a year is a recent estimate that I saw. Some of the other things that this product delivers, it is grain-free, gluten-free, uh, GMO-free, soy-free, and byproduct-free. It's patented immune boosting ingredients, memory boosting ingredients, muscle strength that comes from protein. We have all of the essential amino acids in the product. We also have all the required vitamins and minerals for a complete and balanced product. And the reason complete and balanced is so important to me is if the treat is not complete and balanced, if the dog food happens to just be kind of marginally complete and balanced, giving a treat that's not complete and balanced will knock the entire diet from being complete and balanced. And that's basically a requirement for dog's good health. Okay. Now, Dr. Joe, let's talk about the main purpose of Yummy Combs, though, is to clean your dog's teeth, yes. thumbs, and breath. Yes. So how does it do that? And even though I think I have an idea about this, but there's some people I'm sure listening going, well, if it dissolves real quickly... How does it work in cleaning all that, you know, plaque and tartar from your dog's mouth? Yeah. So let's start with a result. It has earned the Veterinary Oral Health Council seal of acceptance for tartar control. And how it works is the flat sides of this kind of sort of hockey puck idea has hollow tubes, so to speak, or pockets, whatever you want to call it. And what happens when the dog bites down? the teeth from both upper and lower jaws go into these pockets and they rub around and floss uh, down to the gum line. And then up to 256 surfaces are also scrubbing off the sides of the teeth. It's quite effective, very creative, and very different than anything else out there. And it does the job quite well. Does it substitute for brushing? Basically, yes. I'm not very wild about brushing my own dog's teeth with a toothbrush. And so this is what we've been doing for some time now with our dogs. We have a uh, Australian Shepherd in the room here with me along with a half, a uh, Bashan half. I love those dogs. Not a half breed. And uh, their teeth are really looking good. And we have another one of our marketing 
manager's dogs that's been on yummy cones for years and he's taken his dog to the uh, clinic vet clinic and they said hardly anything on there that's tartar it's got them all cleaned off pretty doggone well so it's but it's it's not something that if you give them one or two yummy cones that suddenly the tartar that's built up over years is all going to fall off that does not occur yeah, there's no miracle things out there. yeah there's no miracle here no. this is this is a working drug that if you continue to use it it's going to work tartar off and it's going to keep tartar from building up too so that's kind of the whole the, the the basic premise of this product is really fourfold i've talked about the prerequisite being it tastes good the second item is we have 80 percent of dogs today that if they're over three years of age that have some form of gum disease and gum disease is a result of tartar building up on the teeth and not being cleaned off. And over time, these little, they're almost like grains of sand get between the gum and the tooth. And they sit in there and as the dog eats and moves its jaw, they rub the gum sore. When the gums get sore enough that they start swelling, that's known as gingivitis. When it gets far enough along that the gums start bleeding, that's periodontal disease. Now we're into the, the seriousness of the disease because that bleeding lets bad guy organisms from the mouth get into the blood system. And they have this habit of using the circulatory system as a racetrack to vital organs, mostly the heart, but not always. And there they do the damage to the vital organ. You don't see anybody saying that the dog died of gum disease, but you see a lot of dog died from vital organ failure right. that vital organ failure oftentimes came from gum disease you know what dr joe that's not that different from people because not taking care of your teeth and developing any kind of gum disease could be bad for us two laggards you know we're quite different of course than dogs but that's something i've heard over and over again you know taking care of your dog's teeth because what does develop can turn into something much more serious we're going to take a short break and when we come back. We're going to go over the trifecta of wellness. And also, let's talk about how you can transition your dog to yummy cones. We'll be right back. Molly, here's your dinner. <coughs> Zeus, that's not your food. Don't let that happen to your precious cat. Elevate your cat's eating experience with the Cat Tree Tray. The Cat Tree Tray keeps your cat's food off the floor and conveniently located on the cat tree. It's the perfect way to eat. It's a beautiful wrought iron tray that easily attaches to your cat tree and keeps dogs and other critters out of your cat's dish. A must for multi-pet households. There's a 6-inch tray for large bowls and a 4-inch tray for smaller bowls. Purchase your Cat Tree Tray today. Go right now to CatTreeTray.com. That's CatTreeTray.com. C-A-T-T-R-E-E-T-R-A-Y.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. We're talking to Dr. Joe about his new product, Yummy Combs. Dr. Joe had invented Greenies way back, and now he has a new and improved product. So, Dr. Joe, we were talking before the break about the trifecta of wellness. Right. So- One thing I would add on to that, if I might, is that gum disease is, is really a serious and oftentimes hidden thing. People don't lift up the lips of their dogs and look closely at the teeth uh, right at the gum line because that's where the bad stuff of tartar really gets its start that leads to gum disease so i would advise all parent dog parents to to do that that's important good point so the trifecta of wellness is dental safety and nutrition right you highlight this on the packaging what message are you trying to get across to all pet parents when they're seeing your product in the store well, one of the things we're trying to do, the company name is actually Pets Best Life. And that I look at your company, Best Bet for Pets. We're pretty doggone close. Actually, we're pretty doggone close. This is just the show. We're Pet Life Radio. We have like 75 
pet related podcasts. Uh-huh. But, um, my show name is close to your company name. Yeah. So what we're always looking for is how can we make the pet's life better? So I'd say the second part of the trifecta, the first part being the, the gum disease and, of course, the prerequisite great taste. But that third part then, if you want to call it that way, is really safety. And people who have not experienced an incident where a dog gets something lodged in its throat or a blockage of the bowel uh, really don't know how traumatic it is. And it's not just traumatic for the owner. It's traumatic for the dog and it's traumatic for the attending vet. And so what we've done there to address a problem that has been around for more than five decades called gulping and choking is we have made yummy combs in five different sizes for different weight classifications of dogs. And we built the yummy combs bigger than the throat opening of dogs in that weight class. So they cannot gulp it. They have to start chewing. And my theory is, is that if you get a dog to start chewing, they will tend to continue to chew. It's, and I think it's from large litters a lot of times where you get the gulpers that have had to fight for their food all their life and they think they have to get it down in a half a second and they yeah. try to gulp it down. Yeah, gulpers before. And that's a great point because I was talking to Matt not that long ago on, of course, on another show. And they were saying how let's take a gulping thing, you know, bully sticks, those get gulped and there actually shouldn't be anything in the dog's mouth uh, smaller than the width of the mouth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what we've been saying. And that's how we actually develop yummy combs specifically to be wider than those throat openings by the five different weight categories of dogs. Great idea. They're coming out with more and more, you know, holders for those things, but still a dog is chewing for this kind of product. It's you can't really put, I don't want to talk about your past party, but you'd have to put greenies because that's a different shape inside yes. a bully holder and hope it stays like that. But the whole point is to chew the whole thing. Yes. And we, we actually have created a chart that we use internally here that has, oh, I don't know, 15 or 20 traditional treats on. And almost all of them, if you really think about them, they're rod shaped, you know, a a lot of bones are pretty rod shaped, a rod or a stick, either one. And those have a tendency as they try to go down, if they're a gulp, that they can start going down, but then they get lodged in a kink in the throat. And now you have a real problem on your hands. And that's what we're trying to avoid is getting those problems like that. So that is the reason for the wide, flat, yummy comb shape. Great idea. And then we talked a little about nutrition, but that's the third part of your trifecta. Uh, Nutrition is somewhat my bag of tea, I guess. I grew up on a farm feeding animals from when I was very, very young and uh, have three degrees from colleges of agriculture around the country. And so I've been around animals, feeding them and caring for them for a long time. And the nutrition side of it is very intriguing to me because I look at how much starch is in products and we look at 60% of dogs today over the age of two are overweight. That's what the vets tell us. And so we sit here as an industry and we pump starch, starch, starch into dogs and we wonder why they become overweight. But if you ask your friends, they're not on starch diets if they're trying to lose weight as a human. They're on protein diets. And so that's why we have high protein in ours. And that gives us all the amino acids that the dogs need. We also put 12 ingredients in there for just wellness purposes. It is a complete and balanced diet. And here's something that not that many people that own dogs are aware of. There are specialists in the vet field, just as there are specialists in the doctor field for humans. You know, I I ask people, you know, if, if you were diagnosed with a serious disease by your general practitioner or internist or whatever, and it, let's say it was cancer, unfortunately, would you continue to go to this general practitioner or would you go to a specialist? I know what I'd go to. I'd go to a specialist real quickly. And we have that in the pet field with board certified veterinary nutritionist and board certified veterinary dentist. We actually have one of each working with us on the Yummy Combs product. And so the Yummy Combs formula is created I had some input on it, but the fine tuning of it was created by a board certified 
veterinary nutritionist that I've been working with now for 25 years. And that's a lot different than, you know, some of our old stories uh, got put out as well. Joe and Judy just uh, did this in their kitchen and they didn't know anything about what was they were doing. They mixed up something and greenies happened to come out. Well, it's not quite that simple. We had a board certified vet nutritionist working with us to fine tune what we had come up with there too. And so the same with this. So when, when you do that, you just have more expertise coming to bear on the issues you're trying to solve. And the one we're really working on here in terms of nutrition is the 60% of dogs that are overweight. And we want to get that taken care of. We want the dogs to have the best chance of living the longest, happiest life that we can get them to do. And that's kind of the summary of what Yummy Combs is all about. Wonderful. And that's great information. Let's talk about transitioning your dog. So okay, I find younger dogs are easier and more open-minded to new things. Sometimes older dogs, and especially super senior dogs, not so much. And some people just have fussy dogs. So what's the best way to transition your dog to Yummy Comb, given the shape is a little different? And, you know, it's a dental treat. It's a different type of treat. So how would you transition your dog? What would you tell our audience? Here's what I basically tell people. I say, don't be shocked if your dog looks at it the first time they see it and doesn't really quite know what to do with it because they have not seen that shape before and it may take them a little bit. But stick with them and get them to take one bite because if you get them to take one bite, the chances of them being there the next time they hear the bag rattle or they see a yummy combs is very, very high. Our palatability or the great taste factor is certainly very, very high. And we've seen some people that had dogs that the first day they thought, I don't know if the dog's ever going to take this thing. But the second day when they bring it out, they say, uh, we kind of had to wash our hand because he came at it so fast and furious with his mouth open and his teeth ready to bite down that we wanted to, to get our fingers out of the way pretty quickly. And so that's kind of how things typically work. I wouldn't say that it'll be that way every time, but the, the palatability is very, very good. And so once the dogs have one taste of it, they're usually back and easily transitioned over to the new product. And we have quite a few testimonials from people that this is the only thing their dogs want to eat now in terms of a treat. Well, that's good to hear. What about the future? Have you thought about a yummy combs for cats? There's not a lot of cat dental treats out there. You know, we did have a greenies cat treat before we sold it. And cats are a little bit on the tricky side to deal with. They're, <laughs> they're, they can be a little bit picky. And we have done a little early formulation. We don't have a formula that we're ready to really talk about and go out with, but we have done that. Uh, but there's two other things that we are in the process of doing right now. Yummy combs currently are chicken-based, and there are dogs certainly out there that are allergic to chicken. So we want to get away from that. So we are in the process of finishing up on a fish and egg formula that I think has tremendous potential. No, because one thing that very few people I find dog owners or not dog owners know that there's very different qualities of protein out there. And it varies greatly. And there's a scale that uh, nutritionists have been using for decades. It's called net protein utilization. And it's a scale of zero to 100. 100 would be a perfect protein. There is no such quite such thing. Eggs is the closest. They are known as the gold standard of proteins, and they have a net protein utilization value of 94. If you drop down to wheat, you're down to about a 40 net protein utilization. Potatoes is down at 30. All of the red meats are in the 65 to 70 kind of range. But what that means, if you've got a, let's say chicken, which is what yummy combs currently are, the net protein utilization for that is 67. If you're looking at potatoes as a protein source, this isn't quite totally true, but it's a fairly good rule of thumb. You'd have to get your dog twice as much potatoes as chicken to get the same 
protein quality. And if you push that much protein through, not that much starch through a dog, you're going to get a fat dog. I understand. And um, that's very interesting because I wouldn't even think of potatoes having any protein, although I do know lots of plants have trace protein. Well, I'm glad to hear there's some great things on the horizon. Where can people go to find out more about yummy combs and purchase some yummy combs for their pooch? Well, you can always call us or go to our website. It's either petsbestlife.com or yummycombs.com. And uh, that's a good source. We're also on Facebook and Instagram and stores where yummy combs are currently sold. PetSmart, Pet Supermarket, Pet Supplies Plus, select independent and vet clinics have them. And uh, Amazon and Chewy are also aboard. So there's a fairly wide array of places where people can get them. And a website has contact information for us. And so people are certainly welcome to, to call if they have questions or want to know more or want to know out of these 60 benefits, is this one included in yummy combs or not? We go through that and have that readily available to provide to people. But basically, we're back to it. I want to do what's good for a dog. Is there anything else you want to share with our audience before we need to go? I'll share a real quick story. If somebody wants to know more, they can call her. Right. When I was four years old, I grew up on a farm. We had a farm dog. His name was Pal, and he was my pal. Nobody else was pal like my pal. The dog got killed in a farm accident when I was four years old and tore my heart out. And I will do virtually anything for a dog because of that incident. So sorry to hear that. You, that that's heartbreaking. It tears me up to this day, and this is 70 years later now. Well, we're glad we have you with us and that you've been able to share your incredible new product, Yummy Combs. So I thank you, Dr. Joe, so much for your time and sharing your wealth of knowledge. Thank you so much. And thank you. And may you have great success with Best Bets. Best Bets for Pets. Yeah, I like it. I like it kind of a tongue twister. Thank you so much. What an informative show. And I'm sure Yummy Combs is going to do really well out there. It already has in other countries. So again, thank you, Dr. Joe, for coming on Best Bets for Pets. Thank you very much. Have a great day and may your audience enjoy their dogs. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Thank you so much for listening to Best Bets for Pets. Thanks to my guest, Dr. Joe. Check out Yummy Combs. They're great dental chew for your dogs. i prefer them over anything else I've tried. So give it a try. Yummy combs and find them all over the place. Um, all the stores and of course, Chewy or Amazon. And I want to thank Nikki for being my tester. So thank you, Nikki. And I also want to give a shout out to everyone listening to Best Bets for Pets. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. And of course, thank you to my producer Mark Winter for making me and my guests sound great. Now remember, keep listening. You never know what we're going to have next on Best Bets for Pets. Let's Talk Pets every week on demand only on PetLifeRadio.com